from the Tiffany Micah podcast and welcome to today's episode. I've done something a little bit different for you uh, in this episode and actually I've gone through and actually made some changes. So what you'll actually hear in this episode is really about why I did that and what I was going through, why I've actually changed the format of what I'm going to do with regards to the upcoming episodes and so on. And um, also about, you know, restructuring, you know, life and all of that kind of thing. And, I'll, and I will tell you that through throughout this, this episode. It's all about how I dealt with burnout. Um, I hit burnout last week, really struggling. And I wanted to share with you what I was going through and then what I did to switch myself out of it and, and how I made some plans towards that. So I was actually, I had it all sitting in my head. I'm talking to you like I'm talking to a, you know, a friend on, <laughs> on the phone. I, um, I was recording this as I was driving because I just wanted to get it out of my head and I really wanted to share with you what my struggles were with burnout and so on, and then what I worked on to uh, to change that to make that um, so that so that it's more productive and really um, you know taking that aerial view about looking at okay well this is why I'm at this situation what am I going to do to change that because what I've done has got me to that point but it's not going to work if I repeat the same. It's the same action. So I needed to step away, take some time out and re-evaluate. So what you'll hear is uh, coming up is that. Um, also, I'll be starting to produce some video content as well. So I'm really excited about that. So that's all part of the the new process. Um, on the Reach a Potential with TIFF episodes that you do hear the daily TIFF, I'm actually going to only be recording one of those a week now because, um, again, time to change, change it up, do something a little bit different. So uh, with the Reach Your Potential with TIFF episodes from the from that particular podcast show, there'll only be one a week and then I'll be bringing those in together each month and you'll get a weekly TIFF. So it'll be an accumulation of those episodes over that month um, that I'll add in here. So there's been a few changes coming up, but um, make sure you look out for the, also the video content that'll be coming out on my site on the tiffany-mica.com site that'll be coming up very soon and I'm really looking forward to sharing more of that with you and you know really getting you to achieve all your goals in your life and um, really knuckling down and, and, and getting on with it. So enjoy this episode and I'll catch up with you on the next one. Well, you haven't heard from me um, over this past week. I decided to take some time out and the reason for that was was one that I actually got ill over over Easter and then I thought, you know what, let's just take some time out and I was finding that I was starting to get quite mentally fatigued and fatigued and so... I thought, you know what, it's, it's telling me it's time to, to take the, the time out and actually just not do anything with the business, just go and, you know, just go and teach golf and do those types of things that I needed to do. But let's just take some time out and let's have a think about really where is it that I'm going to go and what is it that what I'm going to do and, and what's happening, you know, what's been happening over the last you know, really three, three and a half to four months of, of work and, you know, what, what is it that I'm really wanting to achieve here? Because what I, what I discovered by taking some, you know, time out, like stepping away, it's like you I like to think of you're an, you're an eagle and you're flying above, you know, you're flying above your earth and you're having a look around at what's going on are the things that you're doing, are they beneficial to you or are you just in the process of just doing? 
right? Not necessarily being productive, but just doing. And what I started to find uh, when I took that time out was that, you know what, I was just doing because I was, you know, heavily recording, you know, up to nine episodes a week between this uh, podcast show and also my other one, The Reach Potential with Tiff. And I was finding it was taking me almost mm, close to three days by the time I created the content because I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had the right messages to ensure that you were reaching your potential, um, giving you the, you know, the information that you need to keep striving forward. So it was taking a lot of time for me to do that. And I wasn't getting anything else done. I didn't seem to be getting ahead in, in any way. The great thing is, is that I've recorded you know, quite a number of episodes and I'm really excited about that. But the thing is, is that it's time to make a change. And because what's happening is that you know, my book is about to be released. It's very, very close, which I've been talking about over the last um, number of months. And I haven't really been working on my marketing strategy for that. I haven't really been working on building the Reach of Potential with TIFF business. There's a lot of things that I haven't been working on and I've still been teaching golf and, and, and so on. So it was like, okay, let, let's have a really good look at actually what's going on. And then we can then establish, is it the right path to go down this way or is it time to to make some changes and implement some new strategies and even change the way in which I'm I'm recording the episodes how many episodes of the podcast shows do I do I have the time to record for at this at this moment in time and what is it that I need to be doing in in building and growing the business what is it that I need to be doing in getting some marketing strategies in place to market my upcoming book release of my upcoming book and so that's what I've actually been doing and it's been really good to actually do that now the thing is with me and you may be the same this is why I'm sharing this with you today Um, I'm actually um, also on my way to work while I'm talking to you but the thing about doing, doing this and stepping away is that you have to do that. Like I've got a friend who is just doing, just doing, 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 doing. Actually, I've got a couple of friends that are doing that. One, you know, one really good friend, she's in her late 60s, works really, really hard. So she's just caught up in that doing, doing, doing. And I've got another friend who's same age as me and she's got a lot on a plate and the same thing, doing, 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 just trying to get through, just trying to get through. But the problem is, is, and this happens to me as well and it most likely happens to you because, hey, you know, we have our, our times where we, we need to be pumping forward but we also need to have our times where we're reflecting and we need to have our times where we're taking a break and actually stepping away and, and identifying whether this is the right strategies we should be implementing and so on we're going to go through these stages and it's not about fighting through them you know I hear all the gurus oh you've got to you've got to fight for fight through the pain and you've got yep you know to some degree yes but if you find that you are just constantly doing 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 and you're not getting anywhere right it's not making any changes you're not moving any further forward well, what's the point of being busy when you're not productive? And that's that's like what I've been saying about about me is that where I'm at right now is that I've been quite busy. I'm been very busy with creating a lot of episodes. I've been busy with uh, teaching golf. I've been busy with um, working at some golf clubs that I've been working at. But I'm not really. I haven't really been really working on okay, let's build the reach of potential with TIFF business because I've had other distractions. So it's been good to, to step away and do that. Now, when that time comes up for you, and I have this battle, and that's why I'm sharing this with you, is when that time comes up for you that you've got to step away, it's like you're doing it reluctantly. You're doing it because you're forced. And I tend to do it when I've all of a sudden not feeling quite well, you know, i so then, therefore, I feel that my body says, okay, Tiff, it's time for a break, it's time to step away. But I don't necessarily listen to my body until it's sort of like, 
Come on, Tiff, you can't keep going because you just can't. Your body's not functioning properly. You're feeling ill. It's time to step away. And I always find that I have this battle with it. Now, I don't know if you're the same, but I find that this this happens. So what this tells me, and and this is why it's, you know, we're often a, a constant work in progress. And these are why this is why I share what I share with you is because... I haven't got it worked out either, you know, we, we're we all going through this work in, in progress and I want to share with you that, hey, you know what, I have these same issues that everybody else has, I'm not where I want to be yet, but I'm, you know, I'm working and, and striving on creating that, but I also have those times where, oh, you know what, I just struggle to get up early, I struggle to get through the day and get the work done that I want to get done and I I struggle to stay focused at times and I like to consider myself a superwoman you know my nieces have this image of me that I'm superwoman and I like to create this image that I am but the thing is is that I don't I keep going until I drop and I still haven't learnt that that way in which to manage myself better and it's not really about the balance Get, gaining balance it's actually managing myself and this is really why I wanted to share with this with you today is because I do struggle to manage myself it was funny uh, my husband said to me over the weekend he said not too many people and I love him dearly and, and he meant well with this comment um, he said not too many people would put up with you <laughs> And I was like, oh, that's funny. And he said, well, he said, you're just different. He said, you don't live the same lifestyle as other people, like, you know, the general general amount of people, and you don't do the nine-to-five thing. You, you know, you're up early and you go to bed early and, you, you, you know, you, you're not a big fan of cooking, which I'm not. You know, we just eat enough just to, you know, luckily for me, he likes basic food, so that works for me really well. But he said, you're just not like other people, and, and which is great, because I don't want to be either. And it's great to be different, but I, I'm still giggling about that comment is that, um, you know, not many people would put up with you, which I find that that's a compliment. So, But this is why I'm sharing this with you today. You don't have to be like everybody else, right? But the thing is, is you need to know how to manage yourself. And this is what I constantly struggle with, is, is managing myself correctly to really get to where I want to go because I find that I hit burnout. So when I hit burnout, I'm like, Tiff, you're still not managing yourself properly. So what I did over the weekend was I stepped away and went, right, okay, how am I going to manage myself so much better? What's, what are some things that I need to do to ensure that I'm managing myself better? So for this this coming week because normally my weeks consist of and you may have heard this before I get up really early at four or four o'clock in the morning and I go and train at the gym for two hours and then I have this particular morning routine that I do and then I get heavily into what I've got to do for uh, reach potential with TIFF or what I've got to do with the episodes of the podcast or what I've got to do with you know if I've got to go and teach golf or whatever it is and I was I went you know what let's let's make some change it's time to make some changes because this is not working at this level because you keep getting tired you keep getting you know to the point where you you hit that burnout mode and I hate I hate feeling burnout and I hate going through that process of feeling like you're going down right you're going downhill and you don't feel like you're getting anywhere and I hate that feeling but the thing is is I'm my mind and my body actually saying Tiff back off because you're not going to get to where you want to go because you can't maintain this level so back off and let's re-establish so these are the things that I've re-established in in this next upcoming few months because I'm going to test it out and see if this works better so things like so this particular week for example is I'm looking to get up at four o'clock in the morning you know somewhere around five five thirty let's ease into the into the week let's not train as hard at the gym so let's not do two hour training sessions 
let's ease it back let's not go so intensely in in each training session give myself that time to ease back in because I want to ease myself back in so I can build some really good momentum I did have some great momentum built um, some time ago but like I said you know because I didn't manage myself properly I've tended to burn out so so it was okay the training set up now also with with the structure of my my day okay so there's things that I have to do in in the time for them for the moment is that I need to be um yeah teaching golf and, and working in pro shops okay so I've mapped that out when I have to do that and then okay now with the business I've got to start looking at how am I going to what kind of strategies am I going to put in place to market my upcoming book the release of my upcoming book and so when am I going to work on that then when am I going to record episodes for for the podcast shows how many episodes am I going to be recording each week let's change it up let's change and have a different format so I'm going to be doing that as of this week so uh, there'll be be, you'll notice that there'll be a few different things coming up let's see if I can manage myself better because I want to also make sure that another big thing I highlighted to myself was lifestyle now all I do is work 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 I'm so tired at night you know I hardly talk to my hubby and then I go to bed you know, and that's not good for a relationship for us either. You know, we've been married for nearly eight years. We've been together for over nearly 11 years. And, um, you know, we've got a great relationship. But same thing, if we don't spend the quality time together, our relationship suffers. So that's not working either in the sense of if I'm tired all the time and I don't have any time for him and I don't have any time for other things that I'd like to do, then what's the point of life, you know? So I was looking at also, I want to get back into playing golf. Well, when am I going to play golf? When am I going to go? I love practicing golf. You know, I'm a trainer. I love training. I've always got a lot of enjoyment out of that. So I'm like, okay, well, now I've got to start thinking about when can I go and play golf, which I've worked out a couple of mornings a week of various golf clubs that I work at. I could go and, you know, have a have a practice there or I could go and play nine holes or something before I start work what's wrong with that great idea right gets me back into into it um also uh tennis I love tennis and you've heard me talk about tennis you know that was my my one true love uh especially growing up I haven't you know I do a little bit of tennis coaching but I'm like I'd love to go and you know, I'd like, love to buy a ball machines so I can go and practice on a tennis court and just hit balls. You know, again, practice. I love the, love the training aspect, just hit balls. How exciting is that? And so why not, right? Why not now? What am I waiting for? And I was saying to my hubby over the weekend, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I said, it's like I'm waiting for everything to be set up the way I want it to be, then I'll do that. And I was like, well, what am I waiting for? I may never be able to get to that because I'm not making time for it now. What makes what makes me think that I'll be able to do it in the future and have time for it then? I'll find something else to do. You know, I'll always be doing something with work because I love working, and I love I love working on the mindset, and I love working on helping people. You know, really achieve what it is that they want to achieve in their life. But I'll just spend more time doing that versus, okay, well, I've got to do some work with me. And, you know, I'm missing the competition element as well of sport. Here I am a sports person and my frustration is that I'm actually not, I'm not playing as much sport as I'd like to. I like, you know, I train at the gym quite a lot, but I'm not playing as much sport as I'd like to. Well, why not? Right? You know what I mean? So really having a really good look and... And I've done this in, in the past, but I've never actioned on it. I've like been aware of it and, and never actioned on it. I was like, you know what, it's time. It's time now. It's time to do the things that I want to do. It's time to work towards what I want to make sure that happens f- for me. But if I'm working on ensuring these things happen for me, I can show you as well how to do these things that you want to achieve. Because this is why I record these episodes is to help you. Another thing I did over the weekend was I wrote out all the 
how my my life works in all different categories and that was really good to do that because it was really itemizing in each part of my life what actually is going on and what I could improve what's working what's not working what I could improve what I could implement and uh, I'll tell you one really funny thing before I share what you know the most powerful thing I feel that I've done over the weekend is um, I wrote down like roles in the household you know because it's just my husband and I and I, I wrote down the roles of you know what we wanted what we should be doing in the house and so on and I actually put in the um, in <laughs> in this particular thing about roles of the household was that my husband was to be in charge of all the appliances to make sure they're in all working order and so I wrote that out on on Saturday and I didn't say anything to him I didn't mention it at all anything that I'd been up to or you know I had listed out all these categories and you know who's responsible for what and so on and yesterday my husband went out and bought a a new microwave and I was laughing and he was going why are you laughing and I said because I wrote out the day before that you should be that you're in charge of all the appliances and make sure that they're all in working order and even though that you know our microwave works but it's you know we've had it for over 10 years um he just went and bought a bought a new one and I said that's so funny that you've gone off and bought a new microwave because I said I was writing down yesterday that you're in charge of all the appliances see I didn't tell him anything so that shows how much, how heavily connected that we are. Was that I didn't say anything to him at all. He didn't see a list of anything that I had lying around. Nothing. He just went off and, and did that. And today he's fixing up all the, um, uh, you know, the um, what's it called, the fire. Um, you know, you have it on the ceiling and you have those fire um, indicators, you know, if there's fire or smoke, smoke alarms, that's it. And so he's off fixing those up and, and all that. Again, like I didn't say anything to him, that's what he's doing. So it's it's the power in also that manifestation. And that's what leads me to what I'm going to share with you today as well, is that in that power of that manifestation, what I've been doing, uh, doing and what I created over the over the last few weeks is my perfect life of what I want to create and in detail like in every area of my life and written it out in in paragraphs and also written out my perfect day and printed up a lot of pictures of the types of because I love cars the type of cars I want and um, the type of home that I want and you know what I want to have in the home and you know tennis court and a driving range all these wonderful things and um, so I, I decided that it was probably good, you know, after doing, you know, listening to, you know, on YouTube, you probably do the same thing. You listen to hyp- hypnotic um, sessions, hyp- hypnosis sessions and so on on YouTube. I've done that on and off over the, over the time. And I thought, you know what, let's let me create my own because if I, when... I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but when you get into a, uh, just about when you're about to go to sleep, you go into this theta a brainwave state. And what that does is that that's when your subconscious re- really receives messages. And that's the whole idea of hypnosis is to get you into that state so that you're in that uh, self-conscious mode, uh, subconscious mode rather, and so that you can take in information. Now, if you're not aware, between the ages of naught and six, we're in that theta state. So kids in the age of, of the, you know, from when they're born to the age of six, they're in that theta state. That's how their brain operates. So they're in complete absorption mode and they absorb a lot. They say that kids can, you know, uh, learn three languages in, in, that, in that space of time and so on. And so it was like, oh, okay. So what I worked on was I created my own hypnosis tape. Now, what I did with that, I got some music for getting myself into that hypnotic state, right, that theta state, that state that 
just before you're about to drift off to sleep so that you're uh, ready to receive messages. So I went through a process of, of doing doing that and relaxing my body and then I read out my you know my perfect day and what I want to achieve and what my mission is and all of that so that I'm playing that every night so when I jump into bed I get myself into that state just so that I can get ready to go to sleep and my subconscious is ready to receive messages so Again, it's about changing things and and trying things out and testing what's working for you. So really, the theme of today is don't just keep doing, doing, doing. I want you to actually step away and check out what's going on. Check out what's going on in your life, right? Have a really good look. Is this working? Is this working? Is this working? Because I was finding that all these pieces that I've got going... It's not all working and it's not all aligned to where I want to go. And we want to make sure that this is happening for you too. You need to check and make sure all the pieces in your life and in your work are all aligned in going to where you want to take them so that you're really getting what you want out of your life. And then you, once you identify what's working, what's not working, then start creating the strategies and put them in place of, okay, what, what do I do, need to do here? What can I change here? Let's test it out for the next few months. So like I like to work in, I find that you, you tend to really get a, a good idea of what's actually going on after about eight weeks, somewhere between that eight and 12 week period. So go and test it out. Go and test it out for the next eight to, t- eight to 12 weeks and see what's working. All right, see if this works for you, trying different things, because you are where you are right now because of all the things that you've done. And that was the big thing that I acknowledged, is you are where you are. And, and I am where I am because of all the things that I've been doing, but I'm not where I want to go. So what things, what elements do I need to change? What strategies do I need to change? So that I'm really working on moving forward and getting much closer to my ultimate goals versus just just doing. Because just doing is, like I said, doesn't necessarily mean that you are productive. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'd love it if you could share me what you like best about what you heard today. And if you really feel that that's had an impact on you, I'd really love to hear from you. Um, If you've got 30 seconds to spare, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a five-star review wherever you hear these episodes because we want to build the Reach Your Potential with TIFF community as big as we possibly can. If you've got friends that you know that would benefit from these episodes, I'd love it too if you could share with your friends these episodes. Like I said, because we want to build the Reach Your Potential with TIFF community uh, all around the world. We've got to get it all happening so that you're out there achieving your goals and your dreams. And I want you to dream big, believe in you, and go after your dreams. Have an awesome day. Take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye.